Stitchless TV. Now today on Stitchless TV, it's all about refashioning and specifically the Refashioners Challenge that's run by Portia Lowry on Instagram. This year, it's been all about lockdown and just using domestic textiles that you have around your house. Things like blankets, tablecloths, tea towels, curtains, or in my case, a tourism towel. So I haven't got very many pictures of the original towel, but I have got these. So it actually, I cheated a little bit. It did come from my mum's wardrobe and it's a Costa del Sol tourism towel, but it is lovely and cottony. Now, <laughs> I can't tell you, or I can tell you, how long I spent thinking about which tea towel to put with the beach towel, you know, which, which bit, which word to put where. Now the pattern that I chose to use for this project, this Mimi G style simplicity, sewing pattern which is reference number S8845 and it's to make a jean jacket. The size that I cut out was a large but I wanted it to be like a kind of boyfriend borrowed oversized look. Yeah, I, I actually started the project about two weeks ago, if not more. But anyway, I finally managed it and I really like what I've made. And I've realised that in using, in using domestic textiles that you have around the house, or in my case, in using this tourism towel, I've kind of created a lockdown summer holiday memory jacket. It is, isn't it? Anyway, you don't know that yet because you've not seen it, although you have in the thumbnail. So, you ready to see it? It's really nice, sorry, but it's really nice. I think it's really nice. It is, isn't it? I know I'm not supposed to say that, but it's really nice and I bet you're feeling very inspired. Think of all those towels and tea towels. Do you want to see the back? The back I'm not sure about, but I've completely run out of fabric and I needed like one big piece there. So I don't know, I feel like it's a bit literal, but you can have a look. So that's the back. So I had a vintage, I think it's vintage, um, tea towel with a flamenco dancer on it. Actually, I've no, idea. I've no idea what those words mean. I hope it's not anything offensive. But that's the back. And that's my favourite sleeve right there. I love that sleeve. Um, it's got very nice pockets. We'll do some close-ups of the pockets. But it's got very nice, very nice pockets. Now, I didn't do, in the pattern, it has like welt pockets that come in here. It would have gone across my Spanish lady right there. And I thought about that for a really long time as well. And I even cut out the pieces, look. So I even cut out the pieces. But, oh, I just didn't want to disturb the images. So I'm still thinking about that one and I can always add them later. So do you like it? And do you like it oversized or do you think it's too big? So the really good thing about using this jean jacket is, well loads of, loads of things, 
So, usually, as you know, I don't very often use commercial sewing patterns. So I try to approach this as a just regular domestic sewer, and I don't like reading, but I tried really hard, and I read the instructions, looked at all the pictures, and honestly, honestly, I think it's really good. When I first opened out the pattern, and I saw oh, all those pattern pieces, I found it a bit daunting, but the reason why there are so many pattern pieces is because they do a brilliant thing where they separate the sizes on lots of pieces, so they aren't nested grades, they're separate pieces. Not for all of them, but the big important ones. And I thought that's really good, and I really mean it, okay? Now another brilliant thing is that Mimi G has a, a full, in-depth, depth, so long, none of this chatty stuff like I do, um, proper sew along sewing tutorial on how to make her jean jacket. So I don't even need to show you, how brilliant is that? I don't need to show you, although I am tempted. Um, so if you want to know how to make this jacket, go and have a look at the Mimi G YouTube channel which I'm sure you already all follow, and if you don't, really, go and have a look. There's a reason why they are the king and queen of the sewing world in America, I think, or they seem it. So, would you like to see some details of my jean jacket? Like the inside, maybe, because that's quite nice. So, I will show you the inside, but let's look at the outside first and a close-up of the pattern. S8845 Simplicity Mimi G Style Jean Jacket. This is my version of her jean jacket and I really like it. Now, the reason why it's good when you're refashioning small bits of material or unconventional pieces of material, it's good to have a project where it has lots of different sections because then you don't need one great big piece of fabric. You don't need like three meters or two and a half meters of fabric. You can get away with using lots of different pieces of fabric. Now I will say, do not think it is easier to use you know, unconventional fabrics, it definitely is not. They require more stabilising and more tricky things like you don't want loads of bulk there, so uh, you, you, you face the, the hemming part with a thinner bit of fabric. It does have buttonholes. If you're scared of buttonholes or your machine doesn't do it, really, I always say this, or if I don't, I should, just take it to your dry cleaners because they usually have a, a buttonhole, um, you know, a buttonhole facility on site. And if they don't, they often can do very nice hand sewn ones. So don't ever let buttonholes hold you back on a project. Lovely collar. Look, I managed to get a little donkey in there. A little bit of Malaga. A little bit of Gibraltar. Now, also, you can't expect perfection when you're using uh, refashioned and upcycled bits of fabric or, or clothing. So look, I lost part of the Malaga there, but I don't think it matters at all. My Gibraltar wasn't really particularly straight. And if I didn't have this little bit of white here on, on the pocket, I wouldn't have been able to fit in another pocket in the toweling. I would have had to use the tea towel. And um, yeah, I didn't like the idea of that. I didn't like how it be unbalanced. I didn't have enough fabric for all of the band at the bottom to be in one continuous piece. So it's lots of pieces all pieced together. And I'll show you the back in a minute. So I also didn't have enough for the, the other, the facing of the band to be the same. So I had to use part of another um, like hand towel. But they're all from Spain. 
and it all really really is like a Spanish holiday memory jacket. The facing on the sleeve cuffs had to be made out of the tea towel. Now I know that my buttons are too small but I didn't want to like go online and buy anything else and also do you know what I hate using this is like a confession I hate putting those denim buttons on I use the um, the tools that they give you to um, to assemble them but they always get squashed or they fall off I really ha if you've got any tips about doing the the jean denim buttons do tell me because I really do not like using them. Have I shown you the pockets? Let's open them up. So I didn't have enough for the facing of the, uh, the pocket flaps or for the lining of the pockets. So I, I, had, to, um, I had to use a pillowcase for the pocket facing. Um, and wherever I've used the, the tea towel, I felt that I needed to back it, kind of line it with um, the pillowcase as well. So this is my other sleeve that I love. So look at that, that section there, I didn't have enough uh, in the toweling, so I've used the, the tea towel that I used for the back. But look, I love, I love that sleeve, I love that sole. I had to sacrifice quite a lot to get that sole to fit in exactly there. But yeah, I like that. So I'm going to turn over the jacket now. Yeah, so the collar is with the, the tea towel. Anyway, should we look at the back now? So this is the back. Do you see what I mean? It's a bit too literal, isn't it? To have a flamenco dancer on the the back of your um, Spanish holiday memory jacket, she might end up being a bit modified further down the line. Um, but look here, so you have to sort of compromise your standards. Well, I don't mean standards really. I don't know what I mean. I knew that I wanted it to be continuously toweling for for the bottom. And I really was, you know, I was down to my last tiny weeny little bits because I'd pieced together so many bits. So I had to use the edge. So, um, so that's why I have that there. But I don't think it looks too bad. You know, I didn't have enough seam allowance to be able to, to fold it in again. I don't know. Oh, look, that's Marbella. Maybe you'll recognise some of these places <laughs> on the tourism map. So look, can you see that collar? So the only way that I could do the collar was by piecing three pieces of fabric together and, and that isn't even centred. I think the centre of the collar is there, so that even comes off centre. But, you know, when you're upcycling and refashioning bits of, and pieces of fabric, you know, you just have to um, do your best. So should we do that thing where I feel like I'm taking my clothes off? <laughs> Um, I'll show you inside the garment so you can see the finish. Now this project um, is kind of done without any overlocker but because I was unsure about if I want to go in again and do the, um, the welt pockets I have overlocked you know and pressed open the um, the side seams but really all of the seams are done with a flat filled seams where you were in this situation unless you've got a flat filled foot um, you you sew with the seam allowance and then you cut it back and then you press back and fold in you know the other side of the seam allowance so it ends up looking like that which actually it's it's kind of slow but if you submit to slow sewing, it is quite nice. It was quite therapeutic. Now, because I used the um, tea towel on the back and felt that it wasn't weighty enough, 
and because I wanted it to have a nice finish, I've kind of lined the back panel and I've also lined the yoke. So I kind of did that burrito thing for the, the yoke. I hand stitched the, the collar down. What else did I do? Oh yeah, this, this was a bit challenging and I have got a tip for that. Well, not challenging, but you know, I think, I think it's worth knowing. So to do a flat felt seam around the armhole can be tricky, okay? And can most definitely be tricky if you're doing it with an unpredictable toweling fabric that likes to sort of reform itself halfway through a project. So my tip there is take more seam allowance or add more seam allowance when you're sewing. There is no way, <laughs> there's no way I could get the button stand to be all nice and stay in shape unless Unless I stabilised the facing with an interfacing, also um, using a, a thinner piece of fabric to hem it. Anyway, I decided not to top stitch it. I, th I don't know, I thought it looked cleaner without top stitching there, but I might change my mind. Um, I hand sewed the uh, band facing because I didn't want anything to go wrong. Um, yeah, it was a lovely project to do. Lovely, lovely. So there we go. So tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you think it looks cheap? Uh, childish? I don't know. That's the back. That's the front. Now, I don't feel like I can come away from here and not mention at all the fact that black lives matter. And I normally keep politics completely off my platforms. But I am so sorry for all my friends. I didn't realise, I didn't realise and I should have realised. So I'm sorry and I personally am going to not take for granted that just because I consider myself not to be racist is probably not enough. I have to actually say I'm anti-racist. Before I thought, well, why, sh why should I say that? I haven't done anything wrong, but I kind of get it bit now but I would like to say that I did actually do this pattern two weeks ago it has nothing to do with anything thank you so much for watching go look as if I need to tell you <laughs> the Mimi G style the sew along with Mimi G on YouTube because there you'll get the full tutorial of this jean jacket but it's made in regular fabric um, and if you have any questions you want to ask me about refashioning and upcycling comment below but yeah thank you for watching bye <laughs>